tonight. The country's record inflation numbers are hitting day to day operations at the city of Tulsa. Inflation is so bad, the mayor set aside millions of dollars in his latest budget plan just to combat rising prices. Two News Oklahoma's Tony Russell is live tonight with the mayor's plan. Tony, how much are we talking? Well, Karen, this is about a $945 million budget pitch. The mayor earmarking about $8.5 million. This is about $145 million more dollars than the current budget that they're operating with. Inflation at an all-time high. It's what Tulsa Mayor G.T. Bynum says is shaping the city's next budget. $945 million. So when you hear that number, that sounds like a large number, but that's everything that's coming in from a sales tax standpoint, from a use tax standpoint, from utility rates, from other dedicated taxes for our capital improvements program. But the historically high price of goods is what's causing everything from a water main pipe to an oil change to go sky high. You go to the grocery store, you're also paying more sales tax and that is causing our sales tax to go up at a very high rate. The problem is that it's also costing us more uh, to fix streets and to buy fire trucks and police cars. On top of that, Mayor Bynum says rising prices hit his city workers in the pocket. He wants to raise the city's minimum wage for workers to $16 an hour. I think the key for us in Tulsa when we think about the budget is that Unlike every other budget that you hear when you hear like the federal government talking about their budget uh, or at other levels of government, our budget is balanced every single year. The mayor is setting aside eight and a half million just to account for inflation. So at tonight's meeting, you know, this is only the first pitch. The city council would eventually have to adopt this budget proposal. If the proposal is approved, that wage in increase could go immediately into effect, though. Unions would have to obviously go through the negotiation process. Reporting live tonight in Brookside, Tony Russell, 2 News, Oklahoma.